I am Faith Pepilardo, president of Carroll Community College, and I certainly am looking forward to celebrating our 20-year anniversary in 2013. What you are about to see are reflections of the past 20 years. We have seen significant growth in our enrollment, in our educational programs, and in our facilities. And with this growth, we are able to serve a wider range of the educational needs of Carroll County. I do hope that you enjoy this presentation that we have prepared to give you some insight into the past 20 years. Carroll Community College began as a branch campus of Catonsville Community College. Classes were originally held in Westminster at the South Center Street Campus. 20 years ago, we were very well received among county residents. We were considered a much needed source of higher education in Carroll County. We still are today. Local support for an independent community college for Carroll County grew. In 1993, the Maryland Higher Education Commission granted Carroll Community College its independence with its own students, programs, governance, and state and local funding. My name is Barbara Charnock, and I am a long-standing member of the Board of Trustees of Carroll Community College. Carroll Community College is an integral part of the community as a provider of high-caliber post-secondary education. Students of all backgrounds, walks of life, and interests have received the preparation and training they need at Carroll. Members of the community often share with me that they believe the college demonstrates excellence in its programs and its quality of instruction. I believe that the reputation of Carroll Community College is second to none. I would like to take this opportunity to offer my sincere congratulations on the 20th anniversary of Carroll Community College. 20 years ago in 1993, the first Board of Trustees was appointed by the governor. Dr. Joseph Shields was appointed the first college president in 1993. In 1999, Dr. Faye Papalardo became Carroll's second president. By the power vested in the Board of Trustees of Carroll Community College by the state of Maryland, it gives us great pleasure to install you as the second president of Carroll Community College. May the college grow strong and flourish under your leadership. Over the past 20 years, Carroll has changed and grown to truly become the community's college. Our story is rich with reflections of the past 20 years. The mission of the college describes Carroll as a vibrant, learner-centered community. Carroll students, faculty, and staff have experienced many accomplishments since Carroll gained its independence. The first class graduated from Carroll in 1994. Two years later, the college gained accreditation from the Middle States Commission on Higher Education. Most recently, the college was reaccredited in 2011. Enrollment has grown steadily over the past 20 years. In fall 2012, credit headcount was 4,100 students. In fiscal year 2012, non-credit headcount was close to 9,000 students. Some students attend after graduating from high school. Others want to learn new skills and retrain for new careers. Carroll students reflect diverse backgrounds, interests, and goals. Take a look at our enrollment over the past 10 years. Our programs have grown tremendously over the past 20 years. Today, Carroll Community College offers over 40 credit transfer and career programs, including nursing, engineering, physical therapist assistance, teaching, and accounting. Carroll offers a wealth of non-credit continuing education and training classes to support lifelong learning and workforce development. Carroll Community College is located on 80 acres of land. Expansive growth of the campus has been the hallmark of the past 20 years. The Great Hall was the first building opened in 1990. Let me see those sun rays faces in the wide open places that are open, open all night. Yes, yes. You can have your boots and saddles. 
The Random House Learning Resource Center, which houses the library and the academic center, opened in 1997. The outdoor Rotary Amphitheater was completed in 1998. The amphitheater has been used for film showings, concerts, and theatrical productions. In 2002, the Scott Center for the Fine and Performing Arts opened in the T Building with a state-of-the-art theater. The T Building also houses the Business Training Center and music and fine arts classrooms and facilities. The Fitness Building also opened in 2002 with a gymnasium and an exercise facility. The Nursing and Allied Health Building opened in 2004 and houses our acclaimed Nursing and Physical Therapist Assistant Programs. The K Building opened in 2010 with a conference room, cafeteria, classrooms, offices, computer labs, and a child development center. Most recently, the Mount Airy College Center for Healthcare Education opened in August 2012. The center is a collaboration among Carroll, Howard, and Frederick Community Colleges. My name is Justin Reedy. I am a state delegate. I finished my studies at Carroll Community at, in 2002. Well, it's interesting. When I came to Carroll, I had an interest in public service and government and political science, but I wasn't really sure how to apply that. And so at Carroll, I was able to try a lot of different classes and learn a lot of different things that sort of sharpened my focus about what I was interested in. The first time I ever visited Annapolis in the General Assembly was as a student here as a part of a, a lobbying gr group that went down to talk about issues affecting community colleges. And so that was really the first time I'd actually visited the state capitol and been, and been you know, in, in the halls of the General Assembly, so to speak. I attended Salisbury University and finished with my four-year degree there. Uh, and it was a great transition, a very smooth transition. Last year I was honored to be the commencement speaker for Carroll Community College and it was a little bit of strange kind of deja vu because I had of course graduated 10 years before and really had not necessarily thought I would go to the ceremony to be honest with you but my mom wanted me to go and uh, I'm glad that I did and so I was able to kind of share my thoughts with the students on really the last, what I've been doing the last 10 years in my time at Carroll. I've been impressed uh, tremendously uh, by the growth and um, even before I was in a legislator I thought it was great what was happening here but uh, having an opportunity now to see some other colleges and some, some other um, universities and what they're doing, Carroll Community College is really um, at the forefront not just in community colleges but really is f relative to its size doing as well as any university or college in, in, in Maryland. Uh, as far as leveraging the assets that you have and expanding and growing. Not growing too fast though, growing at the pace you need to grow at uh, and providing real services that the community needs like the nursing center. Um, so I've been, I've been very impressed. I think your team, the team here is doing a great job and uh, have a very strong presence in Annapolis too uh, when they come down to talk to us about some of their needs. Carroll Community has really shown that whatever money comes here they use very wisely and, and uh, with great purpose. My name is Anna Cook. This is my fourth semester here. Um, I plan on being here one more semester and then I'll be done. At Carroll, my b major is business administration. First off, it's the cost of um, the community college as opposed to a four-year institution, but also a lot of my siblings have gone here before me, so it was kind of me following them, I guess. And they say a lot of great things about Carroll, so it's kind of natural that I just came here. My favorite part, I think, is the faculty and staff, to be honest. Um, a lot of them have helped me grow in a lot of different areas of my life and have kind of guided me through things and given me a lot of confidence, so I think my favorite part of Carroll is the staff. <laughs> And just the size of Carroll is small. I was homeschooled, so I'm used to, you know, not a huge group of people. So it's what I'm kind of used to, and I really like it a lot. Coming here really gave me a lot of confidence. My name is Jerome Schubert. I teach here at Carroll Community College. I'm an associate professor in uh, science department. I've worked uh, for Catonsville from um, 1984, so I've been here 28 years. My favorite memories are the ones of my students in the classroom. I like the uh, interactions of the uh, students. I like uh, the back and forth. Um, I also like the game club. It's been a lot of fun. I watch the students uh, play all different kind of games. It's been interesting going on field trips. Um, I like that. Um, 
I, I just like being with the students. This building, the huge building that uh, is uh, very bright and um, it's exciting to walk into the building. It's just a nice looking building, always well kept. Um, just a fantastic place to work. Well, it's difficult to pick out one moment of which you're most proud. Uh, I am so proud of the college, the way it exists today and from, from how it began, how it reached this point and all the hard work and professionalism that went in to, to gain that achievement, you know, to go from where you're working under a contract with another neighboring community college to not just being an independent institution, but being one of the finest in the state, and in many cases, one of the finest in the nation. So I'm just proud of the institution and the people who work there. We wanted it to be in line with the other community colleges in the state. Uh, the arrangement we had was not unique, but it was unusual to have another county running your, your community college. So our hope was, you know, we just wanted to be like one of the other guys, but uh, we wound up being much more than that. It was like a big puzzle, it had all these pieces, and everything just came together, uh, the right people at the right time, and the right influence in the, in the right places. Wilt Hawkins, who was uh, former superintendent of schools in Garrett County and responsible for Garrett County, he was a native of Carroll County. And he was very, very influential and had some real political clout. And uh, he, he had um, influence with Senator Smeltzer. And he introduced me to Richard Dixon. And, and uh, Richard and I are former paratroopers, so we hit it off immediately. Oh, okay. and, and they were the two that really got it through the legislature. There's a lot of behind, behind the scenes there. Barbara Charnick was, Charnick was like a guardian angel to us. The, the advisory board was totally supportive of what we wanted to do. Uh, the goal was to accomplish independence in 10 years. There was a report that had been made, and uh, we did that in two years. So you can see it, it took a lot of work, but a lot of just the right timing, the right people. Gaining independence and gaining accreditation by the middle states were stored certainly outstanding achievements and, and to be done in such a short period of time uh, made them kind of remarkable. Uh, certainly were the highlights of uh, my career. I'm just so proud of the institution and so many things, uh, association. Three of my grandchildren have gone to the, the college. Two of them have graduated already. And so I think that says a little bit about how you feel about the institution when you're willing to send your family there. But, uh, you know, just, just, just outstanding. And Faye has done such a remarkable job. Just, uh, it seems like something new every day in the paper that we're accomplishing. Yeah, you know? she's, she's and not, great. not just on the local level or the state level, but nationally too. I know I went up to Alberta, Canada one time to receive an international award. And uh, so, you know, it's not just, we didn't just become one or the other guys. We became an outstanding institution. <laughs> I sincerely believe that the story of Carroll Community College is one of great success. As I reflect over the past 20 years, I am proud of the accomplishments and achievements of our faculty, staff, and students. I am so grateful to our Board of Trustees, to our county government, our foundation, and to our faculty and staff, and many friends who have helped support our college. It is our hope that we will continue to make a positive impact on Carroll County and on our students' lives. Happy 20th anniversary. Happy 20th anniversary. Happy 20th anniversary, Carroll Community College. <laughs>